Sergeant Cynthia Morris, Nigeria's first military professional lady golfer, says perseverance and resilience are the hallmarks of her remarkable achievements in golf. Morris, who is with the Nigerian Air Force, made history by becoming the country's first professional female golfer in the military after a week-long professional examination from July 14th to July 20th at HSD Golf Club, Bayelsa. I turned Purim in four years and it wasn't an, an easy um, journey. I remember um, when I first started, um, I didn't think it was something I would go on. Several times I've quitted and come back, you know. And um, my pro, <laughs> my coach, uh, Emmanuel Odo, he's the assistant um, head pro of um, TYB International uh, Golf uh, Resort and Country Club. He has always been on my neck. Like each time I ran away, he, had, uh, he would always bring me back to the course. He made me see reasons why I had to continue. Uh, it wasn't easy. Um, financially, equally, you know, golf is um, uh, an expensive, a very expensive um, sport, especially when you're trying to go professional. So I say that um, perseverance and resilience and God's time is always the best. Pronouncing Olobo said he was honored by the gesture of the club to celebrate him and his colleagues for their achievements. Right for the Nigerian Air Force, they have been there for me all the days. I was student in the Air Force Seven and Two as a sportsman from there then deployed into the golf club. And I've been in the golf club for almost 22 years in the service. And most of the percent of my life is at the golf club. And I put those to them to their been here. Also, Pro Obona Nweke thanked both the captain of GEJ and Shasha Golf Club, Lagos, who were instrumental to his success. I want to start by thanking the captain of GJ and the Nadia captain today. of Shasha Golf Club Lagos. I'm honored to be here because it was a success. The Nigeria Air Force make it, made it happen. And I want to appreciate the Nigeria Air Force for giving me the time to achieve becoming a golf professional. It wasn't easy, but they made it easy for me. In his remarks, the chief of air staff Represented by Air Vice Marshal Dalhat Ladan, the Chief of Air Intelligence said, the feat by the three pros was worthy of commendation, adding that he was proud that Nigerian Air Force now boasts of a female pro golfer. So I'm excited that uh, we have a female pro golfer in the Nigerian Air Force. And she happens to be the first, uh, which means she has, she, has, she has shown that it is possible. That opened the way for other ladies now to aspire to become professionals as well. To become a professional, it's, uh, it entails a lot hard work, dedication, and um, and um, a lot of you know commitment. Um, we thought it wise as a club, and uh, basically the um, number one golf club in the Nigerian Air Force thought it wise to say, let's honor these professionals. Big bold to say that this. Is a dividend of the support of the chief of the air staff, the air force leadership, who has not uh, left any stone at all in ensuring that personnel are fit. And of course, you know, our business is fit to fight, fit to fly. And uh, this is a very strong result for us to go on. And as you can see, it is a dividend rubbing off the sports department also. And this very uh, strong and capable sports people coming up with this result goes along to tell you that uh, the effort of the chief of the staff is not being in vain. Not because they want this particular person to be selected, it is because uh, they played well and they stood out in the competition. And that is why we are doing this fit to come together and um, encourage them and also appreciate their efforts. We are here today to celebrate uh, and honor the three groups that are among us. Unfortunately, one of them is a female. Even when I started golf, I saw her play and I saw the way she does on the course. And I said, if a woman can do this, I think I could do better. Then the two other male, uh, uh, Nelson and Becky, they have have known well. And it was the encouragement and their humility in the game that uh, led me to play up to it today the energy, the zeal I require to be in the game today. There have been 
trying to see how they will put all effort to become professional today, they are professionals. All I have for them as professionals today is to see them develop themselves one way or the other. And by so doing, it will better them, it will better the Nigerian Air Force, and it will better the society at large. Yeah.